Yolanda Yvette Adams, an accomplished American gospel singer, songwriter, producer, actress, and host of her nationally syndicated morning gospel show. She's left an indelible mark on the music industry. Renowned as one of the best-selling gospel artists, she's sold over 10 million albums worldwide and holds numerous accolades, including four Grammy Awards, four Dove Awards, five BET Awards, six NAACP Image Awards, six Soul Train Music Awards, two BMI Awards, and 16 Stellar Awards. Notably, she was the first gospel artist to receive an American Music Award. Referred to as the Queen of Contemporary Gospel Music, the First Lady of Modern Gospel, and hailed by Variety as the reigning queen of urban gospel, Yolanda Adams has received widespread recognition for her contributions. In 2009, Billboard named her the number one gospel artist of the decade, attributing this recognition to the success of her chart-topping album, Mountain High, Valley Low. Notably, President Barack Obama honored Yolanda with the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award for her volunteer service in 2016. She was also inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame in 2017 and became the first gospel artist nominated for a Tony Award in 2018 for her work on SpongeBob SquarePants. In addition to receiving the Soul Train Music Awards Lady of Soul Award in 2019, Yolanda Adams garnered critical acclaim for opening Super Bowl 54 with a performance of America the Beautiful. Billboard further acknowledged her as one of the top gospel artists of the 2010s. In 2022, she was honored with induction into the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame. With an estimated net worth of $8 million U.S. million, she continues to be a force in the world of gospel music. Born on August 27, 1961 in Houston, Texas, Yolanda Adams is the eldest of six siblings. She graduated from Sterling High School in 1979 and later pursued a career as a school teacher and part-time model in Houston after graduating from Texas Southern University. Standing at an impressive height of 6 feet or 1.85 meters, Adams made the decision to transition to a full-time career as a lead singer, marking the beginning of her musical journey. She's experienced both triumph and tribulation in her personal life. Her marriage to Troy Mason from 1987 to 1990 ended due to spousal abuse. In 1997, she married former NFL player Tim Crawford, with whom she shares a daughter, Taylor Adams Crawford, who was born in 2001. Despite their seven-year marriage, Yolanda Adams and Tim Crawford divorced in August of 2004. She initially caught the eye of Thomas Whitfield and Sound of Gospel Records while serving as a lead singer for Houston's Southeast Inspirational Choir, which was associated with the Church of God in Christ. Directed by Carl Preacher, Brenda Waters, and Shirley Joyner, the choir released the single For My Liberty in 1982, showcasing Yolanda Adams' vocals. She later appeared on the Edwin Hawkins Music and Arts Seminar Choir's album Give Us Peace in 1986, performing My Trust Lies in You. Following this, she signed with Sound of Gospel, releasing her debut album Just As I Am in 1987. Producer Ben Tanker discovered her in 1990, leading to a contract with his label, Tribute Records, and the release of Through the Storm. Ben Tankard aimed to establish a smoother gospel jazz sound through their collaboration, which received positive feedback across various music genres. She continued her success with albums like Save the World in 1991 and More Than a Melody in 1995, which featured notable tracks like The Battle is the Lord's and Gotta Have Love. She captured live performances in Yolanda Live in Washington in 1996, released initially on VHS and later on DVD and CD. As Tribute Records merged with Benson Music Group and eventually with New York-based Zamba Verity Records, Yolanda Adams released Songs from the Heart with Verity, featuring hits like Only Believe and Still I Rise, paying tribute to Rosa Parks. Her breakthrough into mainstream success came with the release of Mountain High, Valley Low in 1999 on Elektra Records, produced with the help of industry heavyweights like Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, and Keith Thomas. The album achieved two times platinum status and earned Yolanda Adams a Grammy Award. Notable tracks included Yeah, Fragile Heart, and Open My Heart, with the latter dedicated to her late road manager. Subsequent releases included a Christmas album in 2000, a live album titled The Experience in 2001, and Believe in 2001, which went gold and featured the hit Never Give Up. 
Yolanda Adams' contributions extended beyond her music career as she served as a judge for the Independent Music Awards and earned recognition as the queen of contemporary gospel music. Additionally, she recorded I Believe for the 2003 film Honey, playing during the final dance scene. After a hiatus of almost four years, she made a comeback in 2005 with Day by Day. Now, despite charting higher than Mountain High, Valley Low on both Billboard 100 and Billboard R&B Albums chart, the album didn't receive RIAA certification. It features singles like Be Blessed, Someone's Watching Over You, This Too Shall Pass, and Victory, notably featured in the film The Gospel. Following her departure from Atlantic Records, they released a greatest hits compilation titled The Best of Me in May 2007. Yolanda Adams then signed with Columbia Records and released What a Wonderful Time, her second holiday collection, in October 2007. The lead single was Hold On. After the release of What a Wonderful Time, she ventured into radio with the Yolanda Adams Morning Show, syndicated in over 26 markets within two years. The show featured Marcus D. Wiley as Bishop Secular, ran for a decade before ending in 2016 and relaunching in September 2019 on Texas Southern University's KTSU-FM, or 90.9. On December 25, 2009, Yolanda Adams performed Already All Right from her 1999 album Mountain High, Valley Low on BET's The Monique Show, earning praise from Monique herself. In 2010, she authored Points of Power, derived from a segment of her radio show, emphasizing living a spiritually enriched life. In 2011, she honored Cicely Tyson at the BET Honors and participated in a tribute to Aretha Franklin at the 53rd Grammy Awards. She also sang at the National Memorial Day concert in Washington, D.C. Her 11th studio album, Becoming, produced by Steve Bracey, debuted on May 3, 2011, featuring the single Be Still. At the BET Awards in 2012, she clinched her fourth Best Gospel Artist Award, marking her as the most awarded artist since the inaugural of BET Awards in 2001. In April 2013, during an episode of BET's Lift Every Voice, Yolanda Adams revealed that she was working on her 12th studio album, yet to be titled or dated, with contributions from gospel luminaries like Donald Lawrence, Israel Houghton, Kirk Franklin, and acclaimed songwriter Diane Warren. Apart from her musical achievements, Yolanda Adams has been actively involved in philanthropy. She served as a spokesman for the Fila Corporation's Operation Rebound, addressing the concerns of inner-city school children. She was also inducted into the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority as an honorary member in 2018. In 2006, Yolanda Adams bought a 7,600-square-foot mansion in Houston. The house boasts six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and includes features like northern Italian architecture and a spacious outdoor entertaining area. In August 2023, she listed this residence for sale at a price of $2.875 million. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and give us a like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss any of our great content just like this video.